Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio, your station for empowerment, music, and talk radio. EB Radio presents Empower Hour with Jerisha. show that shares the stories behind the journeys of leaders, influencers, and motivators. The Empower Hour with Jerisha begins now. Good evening, amazing people, and welcome to Empower Hour with Jerisha. I am your host, Jerisha Moore Smith. And like I say every single Wednesday, it's another amazing Wednesday. If this is your first time tuning into the show, first let me just say I'm so happy that you're tuning into the show this evening. I want you to know that I absolutely believe that you have the power to be great, have great, and do great. You just have to be willing to unleash your greatness and take action. So on this show, I speak to leaders, motivators, and influencers who want to share their stories and journeys to empower the world for growth and success. And today, y'all, I am super excited because we are celebrating our 100th episode. Yes, 100 episodes. Can you believe it? I am just like, wow, okay? And this journey has been one heck of of a ride. So today I'm going to share some amazing insights from my journey, as well as some of those aha moments that I've had over a hundred episodes with Empower Hour with Jerisha. But first, today's show is actually being sponsored by I Know It Works, and the product that I'm going to highlight tonight is the Skinny Brew. If you're wanting to sip your way to smart and skinny all from your coffee cup, this instant French roast coffee helps burn fat and fire up your brain function. You'll also experience more energy than ever with with the five plant-based sources of caffeine that combine for a powerful brew with a ton of perk. Let me tell you, it helps you burn fat and feel energized. It enhances me- your metabolism to assist with weight get- weight goals and fire up concentration and brain function. Plus, it diminishes your hunger and cravings. Now, let me just say this. I don't know about y'all, but if you have not tried Skinny Brew, you definitely want to try Skinny Brew. I have been drinking Skinny Brew for for over a year now, and it absolutely does what it says it's going to do. So if you want more information, visit www.jerishamore.com. Now let's dive right in, y'all. I'm super excited. I'm, I just want to tell y'all, first, let me just say this. I thank you all so much for being some amazing supporters, for tuning in each and every evening. You all are absolutely amazing. I appreciate your support and your support over a hundred episodes. So as I said, I am going to share some insights and nuggets about this journey of a hundred or journey to 100. And what I'm going to tell you is throughout the evening, you're going to hear me talk about some of the insights you're going to hear me talk about just some of the shows and some of the 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 aha moments that I've had from from just being able to interview some amazing guests over the last 100 episodes. So what I'll tell you is I did not plan for this. And you heard me correctly. So if you've never heard my story or never heard me share um about how I came to Empower Hour and how Empower Hour with Jerisha even launched or, you know, was born or got started. Honestly, it was one of those things. And I'll tell you, I, when I was a young girl, I always said, we're not going to go back too far because as far as the podcast (laughs) goes back. So when, when podcast was a thing, when it first started being a thing, I always said that I wanted to have 
a podcast. I'm like, oh, it would be so nice to have a podcast. And at that time, because this was years and years ago, I had no idea. You know, it's one of those things that you casually just throw around like, oh, it would be nice to have a podcast one day. And and then I didn't think anything else of it. So literally, as soon as I said it and had that thought, it literally just stayed there. I had no idea that years and years later, after I made a decision to start my coaching business, I had no idea that I would get an opportunity to first start a radio show and then jump into the podcast. So truly, when I say I didn't plan for this, I didn't plan this, I mean that. Sometimes God has a funny way of positioning us for purpose. And so that's exactly what happened when I made the decision to start my coaching business, which is Empower on Purpose. I knew that I really wanted to empower others for growth and success. And then when the opportunity presented itself from being attached to the John Maxwell team and, you know, if anyone knows anything about being attached to the John Maxwell team and being able to network and connect and not just from a John Maxwell team, you know, standpoint, but being able to network and connect, you just never know who you're going to be connected to and, and really the possible, the possibilities that are out there, the opportunities that can happen with each connection that you have. And so being connected, the opportunity presented itself. And and I'll tell you, initially, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. Now, although if you, you know, go back to what I said originally, oh, years ago, I had the desire, you know, saying that, oh, it'd be nice to have a podcast. Now, when the radio show, uh, what radio show and radio station was presented and was laid on the table, it was a whole different ball game. You see, the reason why it was a different ball game for me is because I can't tell you that I came from a media background. So those that know me know that prior to, I did not have a lot of media experience. But I think that's probably a message for somebody today because just know that when I, when God position, when God positions you for purpose, he is going to utilize the skills that you have. Okay, so what I didn't realize is that I didn't need to know everything I needed to know right at that time, because what happened was God put people, experts in my path that could help me along the way. And so that's exactly what happened. Uh, initially, like I said, I I jumped in and, you know, at first it was like, oh, this is this might be a great opportunity. And then and then I thought about it some more. And you know how you are thinking about something and and that idea is just, you know, on your mind and it just doesn't go away. No matter how much you, you know, maybe, you know, start to try to stop thinking about it, whatever it is that, that, you know, you might be doing, it never goes away. And so that's exactly what happened with me. It was like, the more I try to get it out of my mind, it was like, no, it kept showing up. And so to me, that meant I need to really visit this. And so I did, I reached out and said, you know what, maybe I should learn more about the opportunity. And so I did just that. Now, when I tell you that day, that day, day changed my life. It changed my life. It made that day and that decision change my life because me singing yes and deciding that I was going to jump and you've heard me say the jump and build your wings on the way down. It, it, it really made me look at everything and how God was positioning me and my business. And, and honestly, knowing that the sky was the limit and the opportunities that will come. You see, when I first launched my radio station and this radio show, I had no idea what was next. I had no idea what would happen after. All I knew was that this was a great opportunity. I looked at it. I seen the big picture and I said, you know what? This is a great way for me to be able to empower others and allow others to come on the show and share their experiences to empower people from all over the world. And so that was the mission. That was the purpose 
Yeah, I wanted to interview leaders, motivators, and influencers and have them come on the show to share their stories and share their journeys and really give you the insights on their stories and journeys because what we don't always hear about and probably more often than not that we don't hear about some of the failures and and some of the challenges and some of the struggles we always see how people are winning and and people are successful so i wanted this to be a platform where anyone could come on and share their stories and journeys and when i say anyone that's looking at the influencer the motivator the leader and typically we all are going to fall in one of those three categories if not maybe all of them so i knew that you know with how everything happened with the launch of the radio station the launch of the radio show and power hour with jerisha you know, you have to really be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. We don't realize when we have these ideas that maybe, you know, come to mind years prior and how, you know, again, going back to that day when I said, oh, it would be nice to have a podcast. Now, I had no idea. I didn't think I would ever have a podcast. And certainly I didn't think I would have a radio show or radio station. But I just think that is exactly how God works. He was able to utilize the fact that of my purpose and me wanting to empower others for growth and se- uh, growth and success. And for I, for, he was able to take the platform that he actually created and built the platform. And I didn't even know, put the people in position so that at that day and that time, when I connected with someone to share the opportunity, who knew it would grow to the level that it is at today. So I'm so thankful and so grateful. But I will tell you when I jumped in initially, I was, I was really scared. I was fearful because I, you know, there, when you just jump into something, you don't know, especially when you don't come from the background in media and are not the expert. So there was a lot of uncertainty for me. It was, how was I going to figure all this out? But again, that's where I truly believe that we have to put ourselves in a position to where we can be mentored and coached by others who do have expertise. And so, again, I just have to, you know, give a huge thanks to all of the media mentors and coaches that I've worked with um, over these 100 episodes and and certainly those that I continue to work with today, you know, It has truly been a process, a process. And you've heard me say before, we have to trust the process, even if it's a slow one. It has been a slow process, especially when you're learning along the way. Now, I'm going to tell you, it has been not only a slow process, but it has been a huge learning experience for me. As I shared, I didn't have the media experience. And so I had to learn the ins and the outs. And to be honest with you, there's still a lot of ins and outs that I'm learning even today. But if I was to look back at it and say, you know, if I if I knew then what I know now, I would honestly say I would have jumped in a long time ago. Because what you may, what you, what you all may not realize is, is that throughout this journey, although I'm the one, you know, doing the interviewing of amazing people and guests that come on my show, you just don't realize how much, how much the insights, how much the stories truly empower me. So yes, you hear them week to week, share their stories and their journeys. But when I tell you I have been impacted, I have been inspired, and I have been empowered through each and every guest that has been on the show, you just don't even understand that once the show is done with the broadcast, when I tell you I am on fire, literally, I'm on fire. I'm fired up and excited and motivated because I know 
that similar to how you all are hearing their stories, I'm listening and I'm excited for you and the nuggets they're sharing. And I'm also excited for myself. So throughout this road to 100, it has it has been amazing. It has also been many challenges when you have a radio show and podcast. And initially, I only had the radio show. And then we made the decision to um, turn it into a podcast as well. But as you know, it is a huge commitment. You know, we think of, you know, with podcasts now and it's it's where people can hop on and and, you know, they can record and do whatever at different times. But with the radio show, you ha- it's a huge commitment because you have to show up every single week. Why? Because of you, because I know that you're listening, you're waiting every single week. You all are so faithful and committed and just such an amazing, such amazing supporters every single week. And so that has been a, that has probably been a, you know, really huge challenge. And if you've heard me talk about, you know, just my life and how busy with, you know, with being an entrepreneur, with kids, with uh, being a wife and, and all of that, when you're wearing so many hats and then having to continue to show up every single week. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But there are those times when, you know, you have 50 million things going on and it can be a challenge. It can be a challenge, but it is so rewarding. So rewarding. So I would probably say that's probably one of the the biggest challenges that I faced on this journey. Um, Initially, there was a huge challenge because when I first started the radio show, I was, my first thought was, where am I going to, where am I going to, who am I going to reach out to? Where am I going to get guests for um, my show? And I didn't, I just, I wanted to have guests that, that were, you know, amazing. I truly believe everyone's amazing. But, you know, when you're first starting something big, you want to have some truly amazing guests that's going to come on and really steal the show and share their stories, their journeys, and, you know, give some tips, insights, and nuggets and everything else. And and I'll tell you that every last one of my guests have not disappointed. They have showed up and showed out, if you ask me. You listen, if you go back to listen to any of any of the past episodes, you will hear some amazing, some amazing stories, some amazing journeys, and some amazing insights from over the years. Oh, it's been, it's truly been just such an amazing journey. But initially, that was a huge challenge that I had. I, I, you know, I was like, okay, you know, God, you, you, um, you open this door and I walked through and, and, um, and so now and I'm like, where am I going to get guests for this, for this, this show? And, and so what happened is, you know, literally after reaching out to some people, literally when I tell you that it's like the doors just opened up and so many people were contacting and reaching out and we are, we, we are always booked, you know, months and, and weeks in advance. And so I am just so thankful, so thankful and so grateful because if I hadn't decided to jump in, if I had a worried and, and been concerned about how am I going to get guests or, you know, where am I going to find, find leaders, motivators, and influencers to come on my show, if that had been the thing that stopped me, I would not be here today. We would not empower our with Jerisha would not be celebrating our 100th episode. And certainly, I we wouldn't have Envision Broadcasting radio station so often, you know, when we think, oh, all of these things that come into our minds that stop us from moving forward. And, and truly, it's excuses. It's, um, you know, those, those, those things that stop us, you know, those limiting beliefs that stop us. And, and we have to be willing to just get all that out and not even let it stop us from moving forward. So if I had let that challenge or any of those hurdles or obstacles stop me, 
then we would not be where we are today. So I'm so happy that I decided to continue to push forward, not let that be the reason, because sometimes that's what we do. We let that be the reason why we didn't push forward. We let that be the reason why we're not doing, being, and having what we want in life. So every single week, one of the key things that I wanted to make sure I include in every single show is empowerment quotes. Now, empowerment quotes have always been just my absolute favorite, and I use them, I post them. You know, if you were to see my office, you can see all kinds of empowerment quotes, and I have them in notebooks and everything else, because truly, you, we have to be careful what we're putting in, and that's the day-to-day. We have to be careful what we're putting in, what we're seeing. You know, I truly believe in you know, just if we're surrounded by negativity and not positive things, then guess what is going to happen? Guess what is going to continue to show up in your life? Negative things. If you are if you are consistently and constantly surrounding yourself with positivity and being positive and utilizing empowerment quotes and inspiring words and and motivational motivational quotes then it allows you to keep that positive attitude. It allows you to just want to get up and, and, you know, take action and do those things. And like I always say, make those boss moves. So empowerment quotes is one key piece that I have always enjoyed. And I like being able to share my thoughts on empowerment quotes as well as hearing my guests and their thoughts on empowerment quotes. So one of the things that was very important to me for my show was to be able to interview those leaders, motivators, and influencers. And the reason why, and I kind of touched this, touched on this before, but the reason why is that for me, it was so important and not for me just to limit the show and the guests that could come on here. So we've had... My goodness, we've had some teenagers on the show. We've had, I mean, honestly, if you think about it, we've had all all ages. We've had several different fields and backgrounds because ultimately we all have a journey. We all have a testimony. We all have a story to share. And truth be told, when we think about that story, when we think about the journey that we're all on, we have to understand that our story is not is not for is not for us to just keep it in. We have to be willing to share it with others. I truly believe that each and every week as I have guests as I have those leaders, motivators and influencers that come on the show. I truly believe that it's their story, it's their insights, it's their tips, it's their nuggets that truly empower us for growth and success. And when I say empower us for growth and success, I mean that you hear their story and know that you can do it too. You hear their journey and know that you're not on the journey alone, that someone else may share the same story, the same pain, the same hurts, the same journey. And so it empowers us to know that if they can do it, so can I. And so that is why every single week I interview leaders, motivators, and influencers because everyone, each and every one of you that's listening falls into that, one of those categories. Now, I just mentioned that interviewing, uh, I interview guests from all over the world and And I just want to share with y'all a little bit of insights as far as how that has been. When you think about just being able to connect with people from all over the world. Now, we know that EB Radio or Envision Broadcasting Radio is, is in over 170 countries. But being on the phone with some amazing people from all over the world has been mind blowing to me. Again, it goes back to you just never know 
whose story, whose journey is going to impact you and inspire you. So that in itself has been truly amazing. And so before before we end and close the show, there's a few more things that I want to share with you all. But I want to share with you what you can expect for the next 100 episodes. Just the fact of thinking about the next 100, it, it truly, it just, it blows my mind. It has truly just been an amazing journey. And I can't say that enough because of the fact that every single guest, like I say, you just never know their background, their experience, and the insights they're going to share. All in the name of empowering others for growth and success. You know, when you realize and when I think about it, there's a lot of people around the whole entire world that is on the same mission. And that's truly to inspire someone, to motivate someone, to empower others for growth and success. And so that just, it completely blows my mind and I absolutely just love it. And so for the next 100, I am going to tell you, it's going to be equally and more, probably even more amazing. We have some amazing things lined up for you all. We really do. It's going to be truly, truly amazing. Um, There's going to be some upcoming shows where I'm going to be bringing in my family and um, having them share some things. And, and, um, and we're working on some truly amazing guests that is going to come on and, and truly inspire you. And again, from all over the world. So one of the things that I do on every last one of the shows and, and the guests that come on, I ask them a question before we close out every single episode. And that question is, if I could give, if excuse me, if you could give one piece of advice on how you could empower your own growth and success journey, what would that be? And so tonight, I'm going to answer that question. Again, that question is, if I could give one piece of advice on, on how I could empower, or how I would empower their, how they could empower their own growth and success journey, what would that be? And honestly, I would say you have to empower yourself daily and no matter what, show up. Now, I'm a part of, uh, of course, the John Maxwell team, and and I just so happen to be on a call with with uh, one of the trainings and one of the team calls, and, and someone shared something that I thought was pretty amazing. And so I'm going to share it with y'all because I think it's so fitting and it's great to share. And so that is, the, and it's simply just put just like this, it's shut up, suit up, and show up. Now... Although it's three simple, (laughs) three simple things, it is truly powerful. It's so powerful because when we think about shut up, you know, I can remember, you know, of course, and even with my own kids, it's like, don't say that word. You don't want to, don't tell them to shut up. And, you know, and I tell my kids the same thing. Don't say that. Don't say shut up. But at the same time, when I say shut up, I'm speaking for you to tell yourself, (laughs) yourself, those limiting beliefs. You know, we so often allow our own limiting beliefs and the voices inside of our heads to stop us from being, doing, and having anything and everything that we want. So sometimes we have to tell ourselves in that inner voice, that negative self-talk to shut up. You know, we may have the vision, but our narrative stops us from taking action. So tonight, I'm going to say, tell yourself, tell your negative self, talk to shut up (laughs) and then suit up. Suit up. This is you getting ready and preparing yourself for greatness every single day and making sure you are ready every day for those opportunities. So for me, I think about how, you know, I've talked about positioning ourselves and making sure that whatever your purpose is and, you know, whatever that greatness is that you're truly trying to, you know, manifest in your life, that you have to make sure you are prepared and ready. 
And so for me, this has meant when someone reached out at the last minute needing someone to speak and me being ready and prepared to say, yes, I can. Yes, I will. Think about that. Are you prepared? Are you ready? If someone was to reach out to you with an opportunity today, would you be ready? Would you be suited up and ready to say yes to that opportunity? Now, the last one is showing up. So we have to make sure we're going to show up for ourselves. And that is you making a commitment to yourself. That's you making a commitment to your cause, your vision, your purpose, your goals, and then following through on it. I dare ask you, how many of you are showing up for you? How many of you are showing up for you? Now, I think back to, as I said, this road to 100. And I talked about the time commitment and how every single week I have been committed to showing up. Showing up because one There are amazing stories. There are amazing guests that you need to hear. You need to hear their stories. You need to know that you can do it the same way they can. You need to hear their success stories. You need to hear that they have fell forward, that they may have, you know, got rejected and, and, and been, you know, had a failure and, and had a loss, but they continue to push forward. You need to hear that, to be inspired, to be motivated, to know that you can make an impact. So make sure you you are going to show up for yourself every single day. Again, it's shut up, suit up, and show up. Ask yourself, are you doing those things? Are you doing those things? In your life. You know, this road to 100 has been so amazing. I think I've said that throughout this whole entire show because truly that's exactly what it is. But it wouldn't have been amazing without having some amazing and awesome guests over the last, this is the last 100 episodes. So I would invite every last one of you to take some time and go back through and pick out, pick out that guest, pick out, look at some of the, look at, go hop onto the podcast platforms, look at some of the previous shows and, and truly listen to some of the stories and the journeys that have been shared. I'm super excited for the next 100 and I truly hope that you will continue to listen and be inspired along with me, be empowered along with me, and be with us as a continued supporter along the next 100. So I thank you all for tuning in to tonight's 100th episode of Empower Hour with Jerisha show this evening. If you're interested in sharing your own show, I mean, sharing your own story, if you're interested in starting your own show as well, but if you want to be a guest on the show to share your amazing story and journey, to equip, encourage, and empower others for growth and success, please visit www.envisionedbroadcasting.com to learn more. Please tune in next Wednesday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. P- 8, 8, 8, 8 p.m., not 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you will hear an amazing story and journey from another leader, influencer, and motivator. Until next time, I thank you all all for being on this road with me to 100 and here is to the next 100 stay safe and be blessed thank you for listening to the empower hour with jerisha where Jerisha speaks with leaders, influencers, and motivators who share their journey and personal and professional growth.
Empowerment tips, lessons learned, and keys of success that will empower you to your best self. Follow Jerisha on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Jerisha Moore. And visit www.empoweronpurpose.com. Remember to be intentional and be empowered and have a great day on purpose.